सदा शिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि सेकंड चैप्टर पेज सेवेंटी टू वर्स नंबर सेवेंटी टू दृशंति मद्दृशन मद्विषात्मा कुप्यंती चाप्यकोपन निर्दुखो दुखिनी चुख सुखिनी सुरेश्वराचार्य talking about the description of sakshi and ahankara sakshi is my higher nature i the atma the self whereas the mind or ahankara is my lower nature this ahankara mind is revealed by me the sakshi chaitanya that means i am the revealer of i am the revealer of the mind i am the revealer of the mind means i means sakshi chaitanya as witness consciousness sakshi chaitanya means witness consciousness i the witness consciousness i am the revealer of the mind means i the witness consciousness i am the revealer of the thought in the mind mind is nothing but bunch of thoughts bouquet flower bouquet is nothing but uh, there is no bouquet other than flowers <laughs> different colors of flowers at one place called bouquet is there a bouquet <laughs> flower bouquet we say there is no bouquet other than flowers similarly there is no mind other than thoughts thoughts are like flowers you know all different different thoughts colorful thoughts hmm? audio thoughts video thoughts so nice example i am taking first time hmm? flowers are like colorful uh, flowers are like colorful thoughts in the mind mind bouquet is nothing but a bunch of flowers together so i am the revealer of the thoughts so how you have to develop the subject i am the sakshi the witness consciousness i reveal the mind mind is nothing but thoughts thoughts are nothing but a bunch of flowers like in the bouquet that these thoughts are nothing but next step thoughts are nothing but an experience every thought is an experience flower thought pot thought book thought pen thought house thought different different thoughts different experiences so every experience is nothing but a thought that thought is in the mind that mind is revealed by the sakshi chaitanyam i the self therefore i am the revealer this is one stage of presentation now come to the next level a revealing action is it an action i am the revealer of the mind mental thoughts which are nothing but an experience 
all our experiences happy experience unhappy experience sorrowful experience all of them are revealed by me revelation i am not doing action revelation is not an action very important point revelation revealing the mind mental thoughts which are nothing but adjectives happiness is an adjective in the form of thought happiness sorrow all of them are an experience happiness experience sorrow experience means a sorrow thought happiness experience means happiness thought in the mind so i am revealing the happiness thought in the mind i am revealing the sorrowful sorrow thought in the mind which is sorrowful that means they are all adjectives i the atma i am not doing an action of revealing revealer status i am getting without getting the status of an action i am not a karta not doing any action of revealing revealing does not come under an action then what it means because revelation is not an action therefore i the witness sakshi the consciousness in my presence in my presence mere sannidhyam mere sannidhyam means my presence itself those mental thoughts as an experience they are revealed sannidhya matrena i am not doing any action in my presence in my presence sorrow experience which is in the form of thought which is in the mind is revealed by me any experience all experiences from 71 onwards he gives up to 75 different experiences anubhava because of raga dvesha apeksha aasha desires so many are there therefore lot of emotions go on and on and on changing in the mind each experience is changing each thought is changing ityarthah each experience is changing means happy happier happiest happy thought happier thought happiest thought sorrow thought sorrow no i am uh, sorrowful and deep sad person the like that uh, positive degree comparative degree superlative degree all our gradations priya moda pramoda i am revealing at the same time i am not contaminated by those attributes of those experiences which are happening in the mind what is the law fundamental law i said in the last class whatever i experience is different from me the experiencer i am the revealer i am not connected to that emotions which are happening in the mind only i am revealer in my presence they are revealed i am not contaminated by them i am not anointed by them i am not connected to them therefore i the witness consciousness i the sorrow free witness consciousness reveal the sorrow thought in the sorrowful mind i the witness consciousness hatred free consciousness reveal the hate thought in the hatred mind like that all emotions you can take 
he gives a lot of uh, emotions sanidhya matrain vinu brihadarinya kopanishad also usa ushastha brahmanam na drishter drashtaram pashye na shrute srotaram shrunyad na mater mantaram manvithah na vignater vignataram vijani vijaniyah so all this um, are given in ushastha brahmanam therefore drishtir drashtur viparilopo na vidyate avinashitvat i the sakshi chaitanyam am a luptaha i never have an absence thoughts may arrive and depart different experiences in the form of thoughts called adjectives they are all having arrival and departure but i the witness consciousness never have the arrival and departure in waking state actively i they are all available i reveal them in swapna also dream objects dream experiences are revealed in sushupti they are all in dormant form i am not revealing anything because they are not active so that itself is the proof in um, uh, moksha dharma parva the commentator says in moksha dharma parva 248th chapter fourth shloka shrunvati bhavati shrotram atma i the witness consciousness am not the listener that which is happening in the mind now look into the shloka 72 after talking about that gnana indriyas now he comes to emotions in chapter 71st verse he presented gnana indriyas uh, eyes and ears now emotions at the mental level you have to supply the subject verb and the object also how atma is in the uh, 70 uh, 2nd verse first line you see middle atma i the atma you have to take i the atma deshan dishantam buddhim buddhi you have to take from the 71st verse dvishantim buddhim dvishantim buddhim that buddhi means mind or ahankara the mind i the atma am who is uh, who am i advishan advishan without any hatred i the atma am who is free from hatred i reveal pashyati pashyati means reveal pashyati from where you have to take 75th verse so these are three words you should not forget continuously for each shloka you have to supply each attribute not shloka each at, each attribute you have to supply this at i the atma advishan atma aham advishan dvishantim buddhim pashyati i the atma i am who is hatred free reveal the hate thought in the hatred mind which mind has got that hatred experience thought form then what next one kupyantim akupyayan akopayanaha akopanaha aham atma akopanaha aham aham you have to supply every time <laughs> aham atma aham atma since it is said in third person you can you need not combine aham okay because aham is uttam purusha so therefore you can take akopanaha atma kupyantim buddhim that is called uh, angry anger anger free atma angerless atma anger free atma 
angry thought reveal the angry thought in the angry mind kopa means kupyanti means shouting because of anger kopanaha i am free from anger i am free from shouting but mind thought experience there is lot of anger then nirdukkha aham aham you can eat not so i feel like to saying aham ah nirdukkha saro free atma nirdukkha atma the witness consciousness sakshi chaitanyam who is saro free reveal the saro thought dukkhini buddhim dukkhini buddhim pashyati revealing the saro thought in the sorrowful mind okay then uh, nissukha sukhini api this word i was explaining in the last class sukhini buddhim nissukha atma pashyati nissukha means uh, you should not literally translate nissukha means uh, uh, that which doesn't have happiness you know, and the meaning literal meaning that is not the meaning here nissukha means uh, atma is atma ananda swarupam this uh, nissukha what uh, sureshwara acharya presenting pratibimba uh, ananda i am not connected to pratibimba ananda that which is coming and going that is sukhini buddhim that buddhi mind ahankara which is enjoying the pleasure pleasurable thoughts favorable thought sukha thought pleasure thought sukhini buddhim pashyati that means nissukha means aham pratibim atma na aham bimba ananda pratimba ananda is that sukha which is coming and going that's why ananda we should not compare to sukha there is different from ananda and sukha from philosophical angle what is that difference na sukha is that which is born out of uh, some object contact sukha is always which is born even though people use ananda word in the name of sukha but originally speaking ananda you can use only to atmananda ananda you can use only to atmananda really speaking strictly speaking okay but sukha you cannot use sukha word you cannot use for atma atma okay why sukha is born in time because of so and so object contact either person or incidents or situation or any object contact that is born contact born ananda is sukham contactless unborn sukham is called ananda okay this very nice see contact born ananda is sukham non contact unborn sukham really it cannot be called sukham it is ananda i never said this way but this first time i am telling so i would like to say like that i feel ananda anando brahme divya janat you don't see anywhere sukham we use for ananda atmananda so this is slight uh, no uh, very very minute observation it is uh, very nice sukha is uh, different i am happy if when you say there is a possibility of comparative degree there is a possibility of superlative degree happiest more happy most happy uh, happy so gradation is there kosha ananda 
दट ईज वै निस्सुक अहम आत्मा निस्सुख आत्मा सुखी सुखिनी बुद्धि अभी पश्यति सुखिनी बुद्धि चेंजिंग एव्री थाट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रिया मोद प्रमोद हैप्पी हैप्पीयर हैप्पीएस्ट ओके ओके वेरी नईस न सी दट चेंज ग्रडेश that type of uh, experience happening in the form of thought sukha vritti pramoda vritti moda vritti priya vritti all are vritti only vritti is are born in mind only that's why uh, sakshi chaitanyam revealing the mind so the revealer with this uh, 72nd verse is over <coughs> therefore all these attributes belong to the mind alone they do not belong to me that is the corollary finally why i have to study all this and they are not belong to me this is called objectification neighborization i look at that sorrowful mind happy mind greedy mind unhappy mind jealousy mind i objectify my own mind i am not contaminated by them i am not connected to them name dvesha ragav name lobha mohav name vai do naiva masariya bhavah nirvana shakkam therefore all the thoughts are belong to the mind there are attributes attributes are belong to that object therefore i the sakshi chaitanyam am the subject as it were subject status because there are thoughts i am revealing them so subject is different from the object whatever the object has got attributes cannot touch the subject that is the idea presented therefore thought means experience i the sakshi is the revealer of the thoughts emotions ityartha thoughts means emotions experience all those things now he comes to the moha vritti next shloka number 373 another set of emotions he presents in 73 i read the shloka amuhya mano muhyanti कल्पयतीम कल्पयन स्मरतीम स्मर शया नम स्वपन्मु इन दिस सेवेंटी थ्री वर्स हि गिव्स दट मोह वृत्ति मोह इज ऑलसो कन्फ्यूजन वृत्ति confused mind deluded mind mukh dhatu i am not afflicted by the moha vritti confusion experience mind you see so to do this or not to do this sankalpa vikalpatmakam manah confusion is there whether to get up or not early to get up whether to go there or not sankalpa vikalpatmakam manah there is a moha in coming to the final decision to do this or not to do this lot of dichotomy is there in the mind that is called conflict i the witness consciousness who is free from conflict revealed the conflict thought in that conflict mind revealed the conflict thought which is a confused that conflict thought of a confused mind okay we'll say like this i the witness consciousness reveal who is free from conflict conflict free witness consciousness reveal the conflict thought in the confused mind 
therefore i am free from confusion i am only the revealer i am not having confusion therefore confusion happens in the mind that is the idea i am free from that confused mind so without contamination how do you know all this uh, confused free conflict free i am how do you know na there is an experience of conflict there is an experience of confusion there is an experience of hatred there is an experience of sukha dukha every experience is the proof is every experience is the proof therefore uh, sureshwar acharya used this uh, in uh, vartika also there he says uh, um, brihadaranyaka vartikam um, also he is going to take swartha deshah parartho parartorthah in first chapter fourth section 301 shloka vartikam he says that which he is going to take up here also from his own vartikam he writes what is that how do you know means i am uh, if i am not experienced i do not uh, uh, talk about that experience if i am not experiencing that i am not revealing that i cannot uh, uh, know that since i am knowing that i am revealing that that is the idea so all the experiences in the mind i do not uh, know then the mind uh, that which has got all experiences therefore i am only revealing then what next um, here he says amuhyamanah atma confused free atma confusionless atma revealing reveal confused mind Conf- conflict thought of confused mind confusionless atma reveal conf- conflict thought in the confused mind that is the meaning how in sanskritam you have to say amuhyamanah atma muhyantim buddhim pashyati same sentence adjectives are changing then kalpayan akalpayan atma kalpayantim buddhim pashyati kalpana means fancy day dreaming i the witness consciousness who is free from the fancy less consciousness witness consciousness reveal the fancy thought of the fancy mind fancy thought of the fancy mind because every experience is in nothing but a thought a vritti that is the another emotion in the mind then asmaran smaran atma smarantim buddhim pashyati non remembering asmaran non remembering i the atma the witness consciousness reveal the remembered thought remembered thought of remembering mind remembered thought of remembering mind so all the remembering the happening in the mind thought form in the mind i reveal that therefore i am not having the remembrance remembering function is not there in me therefore i am remember free or non remember i am that is called asmaran atma smarantim buddhim pashyati then shayanah shayanam aswapanna muhuh aswapanna atma shayanam buddhim pashyati muhuh muhuh word is used daily often we are daily we are sleeping muhuh again and again punaha 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 shayanam 
आत्मा विषया नाम बुद्धि दैट बुद्धि विच इज गोस टू डॉर्मेंट फॉर्म इन स्लीप कंडीशन आत्मा आई द विटनेस कॉन्शियसनेस नेवर स्लीप नेवर स्लीप दैट इज वाई इन डीप स्लीप आल्सो आई द आत्मा आई एम देयर विटनेसिंग द विटनेसिंग व्हाट स्लीपी माइंड व्हिच इज इन अज्ञानम व्हिच इज नॉट नोइंग एनीथिंग न किंचिद अपि अवेदिशम दैट माइंड दैट व्हिच इज नॉट नोइंग एनीथिंग आई इल्यूमिन दैट माइंड आई रिवील दैट माइंड इन सुषुप्ति अवस्था शयाना बुद्धि दट अहंकार स्लैप्ट इन स्लीप द अहंकार स्लैप्ट एंड इट वेन्ट टू डॉर्मेंट फॉर्म नो थाट्स आर देर एदर एक्टिव थाट्स आर पैसिव थाट्स नो थाट्स आर देर इन स्लीप ई दि आत्मा रिवील मीन ई मस्ट बी अवेक् साक्षी चैतन्यम नेवर स्लीप बिकॉज ई हेव टू रिवील द स्लीपी मैंड All the dormant thoughts I have to reveal. Na kinchi da pe ye desham sukha aswapsam. All these vrittis, how can they happen unless I reveal? I reveal them in my presence. They are uh, revealed after waking up. Again, thought comes. I slept well. I don't know anything. All these are revealed by whom? Revealed by the witness consciousness. Atma chaitanyam. That is the meaning. Now this sloka over. So amukhya mukhya amukhya mana ha atma mukhyan tim buddhim pasyati akalp akalpayant atma akalpayan atma akalpayan tim buddhim pasyati asmaran atma smaran tim buddhim pasyati aswapan atma the sleepless atma. Reveal the sleep thought in the sleepy mind, <laughs> sleeping mind. So with this, uh, this seventy-three verse also over. Now we'll go to the seventy-fourth verse. I will read. That's uh, the book. Original book printing is not very clear. Therefore, I take another book where the printing is very clear. निस्त्रिकालस्थ कूटस्थ क्षणभंगुर क्षणभंगुरा कूटस्थ कूटस्थ मीन आत्मा चैतन्यम ईज चेंजलेस हियर कूटस्थ मीन चेंजलेस निश्चल निश्चल आत्मा चेंजलेस आत्मा The given nischala ha word um, in the first line, nirangi na ha means nischala ha, kootastha ha, same uh, meaning. Ing dhatu, first conjugation atmane padi. Ing means to move. Ing means to move. Here in Bhagavad Gita also, etha dipo nivast astha ha, nengate sopa masmruta. That ing here taken. Sarva kara nira kara ha atma nira kara ha means that self valid atma that which is not connected to dependent on any thought that which is not dependent on any thought. Sak sar sarva kara means every even. Every thought is corresponding to an object. Every thought is corresponding to an object. Ghata kar, ghata thought, pot thought has got connection with the pot. Book thought has got connection with the book. 
um, male person thought connected to the male person so every thought corresponds to an object without an object thought cannot rise so thought is um, sakaram it is uh, uh, associated with an object that is why sarvakara all the thoughts which are associated with the corresponding objects that is called sarvakara so every thought has a, a form so we say every thought has a form that formless atma reveal the form thought in that formed mind that mind which has got forms in the mind all the thoughts are revealed so every adjective has got a validation every object has got a validation it requires a validation of me sarvakara means gatakara patakara griha akara pustaka akara all the thoughts are having a forms sarvakara who reveal who reveal nirakaraha atma nirakaraha atma sakara buddhim buddhim is thought sakara buddhim kata thought pot thought pen thought book thought house thought how oh, many thoughts if you count them you cannot count first of all how many thoughts are rising in the mind you cannot count they are uh, uncountable thoughts that means uncountable forms how fast they are rising and um, disappearing uh, you cannot uh, see the speed of the thoughts also even uh, the light is uh, light years they say the light uh, years light fast it spreads how much time it takes the light has to fall on the floor in no time it takes but mind is faster than manojavam maruta tulya vegam they say yeah, wind is so fast we say we are faster thoughts are faster than wind hmm? faster than wind so nirakaraha atma sarvakaram buddhim pasyati this is one type of uh, attribute of the mind then swarthaha aswartham aswartham at uh, swarthaha atma aswartham buddhim pasyati this word is a very typical word you have to swartha aswartha means don't take selfishness here here swartha means that which is self valid for its validation it is not depending upon anything atma the witness consciousness sakshi chaitanyam does not depend upon anything for its existence or for its validation what needs a validation parartham parartha means every object parartha swartha uh, here aswartha means that which is parartha that which is depending upon something else for validation how you have to look at this word swartha and parartha every um, whatever is uh, uh, in the mind or whatever we use the object uh, we see that it depends upon the mind Uh, mind thought mind depends upon the chida bhasa chida bhasa is because of chit so i the atma chit i am lending existence and consciousness to the mind therefore chida bhasa is formed then only it has become sentient after becoming sentient it has got capacity to um, uh, get the thoughts in the mind 
and the thoughts are able to change because of that sentiency of the mind which is sentiency is because of chidabhasa which chidabhasa is because of my blessing therefore it is uh, uh, that mind is called aswartha aswartha means parartha ityartha depending upon the chit chaitanyam not only depending upon chaitanyam it is depending upon the atma the sat also sat no for existence also it is depending every object see when i go to sleep deep sleep no object is available no experience is available therefore i don't reveal anything there deep sleep any objects i don't reveal when i this body wakes up it depends upon me for chidabhasa therefore aswartha means it is not self valid it is not self valid correspond to uh, uh, this aswartha correspond to uh, not self valid swartha means self valid so to say uh, i am here i need not verify i am i need not verify but uh, any object to talk about existence of any object i have to see it i have to hear it i have to lend chidabhasa to the mind that mind has to become sentient then that mind has to get thought that thought has to pervade the object that uh, thought get the aakar of that object that experience should come therefore they are all called aswartham they are not self valid i used to say many times speak all these objects cannot say chair cannot say i am chair i am existing mic cannot say i am existing hmm? only human being can say even though other living beings are conscious beings they cannot claim i am conscious peacock i am existing peacock okay crow cannot claim i am existing crow i am conscious crow crow cannot claim if we also don't claim that uh, i am existing human being i am uh, conscious human being if we don't claim that there is no difference between crow and human being correct there is no difference crow cannot claim i am an existing conscious principle but to say crow is i the human being has to be validate including living beings what to talk of uh, jada vastu there are so many books in the cupboard none of the book knows that i am existing in the swamini's cupboard <laughs> none of them are conscious of their existence therefore human birth is so valuable understand not knowing this just spending time for earning 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 for eating 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 and, and sleeping eating sleeping eating sleeping earning eating sleeping earning eating sleeping all other living beings are not earning money but they are also eating and sleeping how you are so superior you are wearing suit boot therefore you are superior human being for that you cannot uh, a dog also the owner gives nice uh, dress to the dog dog also can wear dog also get uh, first prize second prize many animals they bring to that competitions and all you go and see in malaysia somewhere singapore the parrots park is there um, amazing the pa- parrot speak if they teach the language to the parrot but parrot can never know that i am parrot so many hundreds of people watching my you know this fun show they are watching you, know. you will surprise how big uh, that uh, you know parrot is speaking you know. 
but parrot can never claim I am existent consciousness principle. How beautiful parrot! In front of parrot we are nothing. Hmm? It's a, a feather, beauty, we are nothing in front of the parrot. That too colorful parrot. How beautiful parrot! We look at the parrot, you cannot turn your eyes. If you look at the peacock, you cannot turn your eyes. What is our beauty? How much you go to beauty parlor? Hmm? Our beauty is nothing in front of compared to the beautiful. There are beautiful fish are there. So beautiful, colorful fish, colorful parrots, colorful birds, colorful, colorful flowers. How you are superior? What way you are superior? Shastra is asking us. If you don't work for this knowledge, human life you are making, misusing, abusing the human life. That is why Shastra used the word Jantu Nar. Jantus, all ignorant people are, hmm, they are not knowing this valuable birth, human birth. That is why they go to forget their sorrow, so many things, emotions, uh, problems and all. They want to stop the mind, they want to go to you know, uh, sleep by taking drugs or pills. Or sometimes they get suicide also. Because manam manas is bharam for them. Why? They are associated with the mind, mental problems, troubles, emotions. That is why they want to be free from that mind. They want to be free from that problematic mind. That's why many people, they don't get sleep, they take pills. Because for them mind is bharam. Why? They are contaminated by the mind. They are associated with the mind, not knowing the objectification. Because not attending Naishkirmi Siddhi, what to do? Hmm? They take drugs also, some people take drugs, some people take pills, some people go to up to suicidal uh, uh, tendencies comes. Why? Why can't they objectify the mind, look at the mind, changing mind, worrying mind, happy mind, hmm? moody mind. That is why I am I am Swartha. I am self-validated. Everything other than me, the Atma, is uh, not self-validated, but Parartha. Parartha or Aswartha. Niranginaha. Niranginaha means not contaminated. Niranginaha means changeless. Not uh, shaky. Not having any movement. Steady ityartaha niranginaha means nischalaha without any shaking. Huh? I, shaking less in me, all the shaking things are happening. Like uh, another example Swamiji gives the river bed, river bank, no? the river bed, which is not changing, upon that changing water flows. Water flows. The river bed is not changing, but river is moving, flowing, flowing. Like that, I, the Sakshi Chaitanyam, am witness consciousness, am like a river bed. Upon me, the thoughts like a river, no? all the ripples going, going on and on. They cannot disturb me. Next uh, line. Uh, nistrikala strikala stham kutastaha shanabhanguram kutastaha atma shanabhanguram buddhim pasyati so you have to supply in the first line also nirakaraha atma sarvakaram buddhim pasyati number one then second half la Swarthaha Atma Aswartham Buddhim Pashyati uh, Aswartham Aswarthaha Niranginaha Atma Pashyati Then second line la, Nistrikalaha Trikalastham 
कूटस्थ आत्मा क्षणभंगुरा बुद्धि पश्यति सेकेंड लाइन हियर वेरी इंपारटेंट पॉइंट स्वामी दयानंद सरस्वती सेस त्रिकालस्था बुद्धि त्रिकालस्था मीन्स पास्ट टेन्स प्रेजेंट टेन्स फ्यूचर टेन्स सो द काल ईस ईवन आत्मा पूज्य दयानंद स्वामी सेस आत्मा इज एटर्नल आत्मा इज एटर्नल वर्ड इज आलो नाट करेक्ट आत्मा इज नित्य इन भगवद्गीता भगवद्गीता सेवेन फीचर्स आफ आत्मा सेकेंड चाप्टर वेन वी आर टाकिंग आत्मा सत्य नित्य प्रमेय आल दोस् वर्ड्स वेन वी आर् यूजिंग नित्य मीनस इमीडियेटली वी यूज द वर्ड एटर्नल आत्मा नित्य मीन्स एटर्नल वर्ड इज नाट पर्फेक्टली रईट इट इज नाट पर्फेक्ट वर्ड नाट करेक्ट वर्ड स्वामीजी से दयानंद स्वामीजी एट नित्य मीन्स टाइमले यू हेव टू ट्रांसलेट वेरी वेरी नईस अबर्वेशन यू सी स्वामीजी डज दिस अबर्वेशन नित्य मीन्स टाइमले सपोज यू से एटर्नल एटर्नल that eternal word also comes into three times that which is trikale api tishthati iti sat we say for teaching purpose we use that word but really speaking trikala time zone trikala means what three columns three timings what are the three timings past tense present tense future tense atma is that which was there is there will be there we used to use the word but only for teaching purpose but that is not the ultimate teaching what we have to say atma is free from the past tense also present tense also future tense also that's why atma is tense free tense if you say tension and artha stress comes you should take every object in the universe manufacturing date you know expiry date manufacturing date may expiry date in middle of what it is existing time you know for some time it will be there so the past present and future comes trikala nistrikalastha trikalastham buddhim that buddhi which is changing you know changing trik nistrikala means uh, past um, present future connected to every object atma is um, uh, free from the kala kala is connected to every object so kala has got um, the gradation kala can be taken as an adjective of that object kala can be taken as an adjective to that object because so and so time it is manufactured so and so time he is born and living now so and so time he expire like that kala jagrata avastha waking time swapna avastha dream time and uh, sleep uh, susupti avastha sleep time all these uh, are available manasatve kala satvam mana abhave kala abhavah तस्मात् आत्मा निस्त्रिकाल फ्री फ्रम थ्री काला इट ईज निस्त्रिकाल त्रिकालस्था बुद्धि वेरी केरफुल यू आट अंडरस्टैंड हियर त्रिकालस्था मीन्स दट आत्मा हुच एक्जिस्ट आल द्री पीरियड्स आफ टाइम अदेड कूड़ा दिंगे दट आत्मा हुच ईज बियॉंड टाइम जोन time zone giving the existence to the three periods of time trikalastham nistrikalah kutastah kshanabhanguram trikalastham buddhim pasyati so buddhi is past present and future buddhim pasyati thoughts which are changing i am free from all the three tenses apadi we have to understand that is certain words are very very carefully you have to understand here in swardha aswardha then uh, nistrikala 
Trikalastha uh, all are having a different connotation meaning in this context. Then next verse I will that's why in Mandukya also Hetu Phala Aveshaha Karika comes. As long as Hetu Phala Avesha are there, you are in the time grip. That is why every student is afraid of in the Janmala like Moksha Varanam Swamini. In the Janmala. And now time lo, we in the town are We are falling in the time zone. I want to get knowledge within so and so. Why we are putting conditioning to the time, time, time? Time annale stress da. <laughs> Any time, time zone, we can in the genma, next to genma, add the genma, in the time zone, in the time, I am the witness, sir, I am giving, lending existence to the time, I am beyond time, nistri kalaha aham, therefore, what, next shloka, I will read, even in Mandukya Acharya said, um, Karika, he says, Atma doesn't have Shashvata, Ashashvata Sambandha. In Mandukya Vartikam, Karika, Gaudapada Acharya says in Brihadarinika also, Shashvata, Ashashvata Sambandha Rahita. If you say Ashashvata means that which is in one period of time. Ashashvata means the Purulana, if you come, you come. Shashvita is not the mood of Kala. Then Kala is not the mood of Kala. It comes in Kala only. Shashvita is a time zone only. You think over. It is Shashvita as a time principle. Therefore, Shashvita is a Shashvita Sambandha Vilakshana Atma. Shashvita is a Shashvita Sambandha Atma doesn't have. Inna Swami ni Asthma Shashvita you said Therefore, this is called advanced study. Hmm? Beginners, we cannot say all this, they cannot understand. Next, uh, 75th verse, last verse, he completes the attributes. I will read the shloka. 75. Nirapikshascha sapiksham parachi pratyagadvayaha Savadhim nirgate yattaha sarvadeheshu pasyati. Last and final one. Sapeksha. Che. Sapeksha means that which is having an apeksha, expectation. Mind is depending up thought is depending thought rising in the mind mind is depending upon chida bhasa chida bhasa is because of chit that is called sapeksha so nirapeksha cha nirapeksha cha atma in the above sloka kutasthaha kshanabhanguram kshanabhanguram word i didn't say kshanabhanguram means that which is fleeting that which is uh, momentary, Shanabhangra means uh, very few seconds, fraction of seconds, every object, every thought arise and goes away. Now, Nirviseshaha Atma illumines the Savisesha Vritti. See, Nirapekshascha, Nirapekshaha means I, the Atma, never depend upon any thought. Thought comes only experience comes. Experience depending upon thought, thought depending upon the mind, mind depending upon the chidabhasa, chidabhasa depending upon chit. That is called sapeksha, dependency. Nirapeksha means I the chit am not depending upon anyone for my existence and for my consciousness. I am self uh, luminous, self existent, suddha chit, suddha chit, I am. More details I will give in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha 
हरि ओम